Welcome to this video about using advanced breakpoints in Trace32 Power View. We will talk in this video about advanced breakpoints in Trace32 Power View, including conditional breakpoints and combining a breakpoint with an action. We are using for this video a Trace32 Power View for ARM release September 2016 and an IMX6 evaluation board with the Cortex-A core connected to a power debug USB 3. However, the comments and options shown in this video are valid for all supported target architectures and all Trace32 products. Trace32 PowerView offers the possibility to specify a condition when setting a breakpoint. The breakpoint will then only fire if the condition is true. The condition can be used with all types of breakpoints. Do for instance a right mouse click on a program location, then select a breakpoint and push the advanced button. You can specify in the condition field the breakpoint's condition. If the HLL checkbox is selected, then the condition has to be defined in the syntax of your programming language. I will set as condition that m static 1 equals 12 and m count is greater than 200. Please note that this kind of breakpoints is always intrusive. This means that on each breakpoint hit, the execution is stopped. The debugger checks then the condition and resumes the execution if it's false. Let's resume the execution. The red S in the debugger status line shows that the intrusive breakpoint was hit and that the execution was resumed. We can see that these intrusive breakpoints are marked with a special breakpoint indicator. The program execution is stopped when the condition is true. If the HLL checkbox is not selected, the condition has to be specified in the trace32 syntax. We will set, for example, a right breakpoint on the third element of the flags array. with the condition that the value of the register R1 is 0 by using the practice function register. I will resume now the execution. When the execution is stopped, we see that the register R1 is equal to 0. A further option is to stop the program execution on the nth hit of a breakpoint by specifying a number in the count field. I will set for instance a breakpoint at the C function and specify as count 300. This will stop the program execution after the function was entered 300 times. The breakpoint is in this case also intrusive. The next option to set a conditional breakpoint is to use the program pass and program fail options. If the breakpoint is set on a conditionally executed instruction like conditional branch, Trace32 stops shortly to check the status flags in order to find out if the condition is satisfied. Using program pass, the execution is only stopped if the conditional instruction is executed. Program fail does the opposite. Let's set a breakpoint at the indirect branch at the following address. If we set the breakpoint with the program pass option, we see that the execution is only stopped when the flag's i is equal to zero. 
By changing the option to program fail, we always stop when flex i is different from zero. The command field allows to specify one or more practice commands that are executed when the breakpoint is hit. The specified commands are executed whenever the breakpoint is hit. By enabling the resume option, the program execution will continue after the execution of the specified commands. I will set for example a breakpoint at the following line and as command print the value of the prime variable to the area window. After resuming the execution, the state of the debugger toggles between running and stopped. On each stop, the value of the prime variable is printed to the area window. You can find more information about using breakpoints under the following links. Thanks for watching.